So we're continuing from where we stopped some minutes ago. We said there are five types of triangles. Isosceles, the equilateral, the scaling, the obtuse, the right angle triangle. So let's look at the peculiarities of each of them. It's their individual uniqueness. But while we are doing that, please do subscribe to the channel so you can get all our latest videos and frankly share with people who are in need of them. Look at isosceles triangle. These are triangles with two sides and two angles equal. If you look at that, that those triangles there. You can see that if one side is one centimeter, the other side is one centimeter. The third will be two centimeters. We could have two sides that are both two centimeters each. So we can one centimeter. Equilateral triangles are triangles that have all their sides equal, all with no exception, all. As you can see in the example, the scaling triangle are triangles that have none of its sides equal, no side is equal. So if you have one centimeter to be on one side, the other will be two centimeter, the third will be three centimeter. Then we go straight to obtuse triangle. Obtuse triangle. Like we know, an obtuse angle is found in an obtuse triangle. That is, what's an obtuse triangle? An obtuse angle is an angle that is greater than 90 but less than 180. Now, this is a triangle that has one of its interior angles to be greater than 90. You can see that greater than sign there. Must be less than 180 angles like 91, 94, 120, 179. So they are greater than 90 but less than 180. So to look at this first, instead of triangles, so we'll go straight to 